Hey guys, it's Dr. Simpson with Stem Cells for Dogs, and I just want to talk a minute about hip dysplasia. I get the question often, well, how do I know if my dog has hip dysplasia? I mean, my dog, she'll limp sometimes, or sometimes it does seem hard to get up, hard to get down, but how do I know that's hip dysplasia versus arthritis versus something else? Well, basically, hip dysplasia is pretty much severe arthritis that forms in either one or two of the hip joints. And now, the interesting thing about hip dysplasia, it typically sets on in early age. So sometimes after a year to two years, you can start to see the signs where all of a sudden the dog doesn't get up and down as quick as it used to. It has this strain as, as it's trying to sit down or trying to get up. And um, some clients will see that are, are the dogs too, they, they just, they're more reluctant about doing certain activities. You know, it used to be they love to run or they used to love to play ball. Well, now all of a sudden they're just a little more reserved when it comes to doing those things. Um, one of the characteristic things that you will see and if you pay very close attention, you can catch it, is a lot of these dogs will shuffle when they walk on their back feet. They, they don't bend their knees. They don't move as smooth as they should. They actually just shuffle their legs. That way they don't have to move their hips as much. And because of that, it helps preserve some of the motion and the pain that they tend to feel. So you get this almost walking on eggshells kind of look to these dogs when you watch them walk down the hall, or if they're running, they actually will bunny hop. So they'll bring their back feet together and they'll bunny hop on them because it's less motion in each individual hip, which means less pain. So those are some of the very early signs that you can catch with your dog to say, is this hip dysplasia or are we just more painful or, or what's going on or is there arthritis? And obviously the, the way of diagnosing this is go to your veterinarian, they'll sedate your pet, they'll take some x-rays of the hips and right away from x-rays you can tell if there's hip dysplasia because what happens is the, the, the femur bone should fit into the hip socket and it should be nice and covered and it should move and that's the rotation. But in hip dysplasia, that socket, instead of being a deep seat that fits that joint, is actually very narrow. And so that joint rubs around and bounces around as the femur rotates. So on x-ray, you can see this pretty easy. So that's how you really diagnose it. But if you're seeing any of those signs that just have you wondering, could this be hip dysplasia? Go talk to your vet and get it checked out because you know, early maintenance, early management is the way to prevent lifelong terrible arthritis and pain.